All right, so in this example, what we have is theta equals 2 pi over 3. So the first thing, there's a couple things I want to go over um, before we term and coterminal angles. First of all, let's just talk about angles and radians in general. All right? So just a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, when we're talking about drawing an angle, the first thing we want to talk about is you know, just standard form. When we're talking about an angle, this angle, this is always going to be our initial side. A ray is always going to be on our initial side. And what we're going to do to write an angle is we're going to rotate another ray with the same vertex from our initial side. All right? If we rotate it counterclockwise, that's positive. And if we rotate it clockwise, that's negative, meaning direction is positive, direction is negative. Okay? So we need to do 2 pi over 3. Now, one thing we talked about was the distance of a radian. You know, remember, here's the radius. If you wrap that radius around, that's one radian two radians, three radians. And then halfway around the circle is 3.14159 dot, 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 dot radians, which we call pi. If you take your radius, how many times does your radius wrap around your circle, which is pi radiuses, which, is, which we call pi radians. All right, So pi represents the amount of times you can take the radius and wrap it around the circle to get halfway around the circle. All right. So now they're saying your angle, though, is 2 thirds of pi. So it's not all the way around the circle, right? It's 2 thirds of that. So what I like to do is I like to break it up into thirds. So this would be 1 third, 2 thirds, 3 thirds, right? And 3 thirds, three -thirds pi is pi. So they're asking us for 2 thirds. So our angle is from here to here, where this is what we call the terminal side. So you have initial to a terminal, OK? Does everybody follow me so far? All right, so now let's get rid of all the jazz. And let's just draw what our angle looks like. So it's from here to here, where our angle is equal to theta equals 2 pi over 3, 2 thirds pi. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, what they're asking, when we're asking for coterminal angles, they're asking us to determine, tell me, uh, determine another angle that has the exact same initial and the exact same terminal. Exact same initial side, exact same terminal side. So therefore, we're always going to start then on this side. But how, how, how many different ways can I get to this? Well, if I went in the positive direction, then I can obviously go in the negative direction. Right? And that gives me a negative angle. I could also go in the positive direction, but what about continuing in the positive direction? So I could also go here and then go around one more time. Now that angle is larger than a revolution of a circle. So if remember, if we start here and go to here's pi, then going all the way around would be 2 pi. right? And then really what it is is I went around 2 pi, and then how much farther did I have to go to get to my terminal side? 2 thirds. So what I did is I take 2 pi over 3 plus 2 pi. So pretty much what I did is I took this angle and I added a revolution. Because from here back to here is a whole revolution around the circle. Does that give me, again, does 2 pi over 3 plus 2 pi give me the start at the same time and give me the same terminal side? Yes, it does. Or I could also, how if from here to here is 2 pi over 3, well, from here to here is going to be 2 pi minus 2 pi over 3. Right? If all the way around a circle is 2 pi, but the only thing I'm missing is this chunk. So to do 2 pi minus this is just going to give me this angle. So therefore, these are going to be my two coterminal angles, but are how I'm going to set them up. Now the next thing I need to do is make sure, how do I subtract 2 pi over 3 plus, or how do I add 2 pi over 3 plus 2, two pi? Have them with the same denominators. So therefore, you multiply across. So what I have is 2 pi over 3 plus 6 pi over 3, which equals 8 pi over 3. All right, here, put over 1, multiply by 3. This equals 6 pi over 3 minus 2 pi. Wait a minute, what am I doing? Ah, no, 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 it's incorrect. Um, crap. 
uh, that's supposed to be negative 2 pi minus that. 6 pi, I wrote that wrong. My bad. That's supposed to be a negative. Um, hold on a second. Sorry about that. If you guys look at these two angles, if I have this pi, it's going to be, sorry, I wrote it wrong. You're going to be 2 pi minus 2 pi over 3. Sorry. You're taking, sorry. Take 2 pi over 3 and subtract it from 2 pi. We added 2 pi, right? By going here and then adding 2 pi took us back to here. If I go here and I subtract 2 pi, that's going to take me back to there. Sorry. So anyways, now we go and rewrite this. So I put that over 1. Multiply by 3 over 3. Therefore, what I have is 2 pi over 3 minus 6 pi over 3, which equals negative 4 pi over 3. Now, the question in your homework says determine the largest positive, or determine a positive and a negative coterminal angle. Now, I have provided you two angles that have the same initial and terminal side, one positive and one negative. Okay? So you can add 2 pi and you could subtract 2 pi, and those are both going to give you coterminal angles. Okay? Now, 